When you go to the United States or you go to a restaurant, you have to be vaccinated. You have to show your man. You, you have to show your your, um, card. your card, or else you can't go in. Bolsonaro, the, the president from Brazil, mm -hmm. they refused his entrance to uh, to um, into a restaurant. Actually, they had a picture of him eating pizza on the street side. Mm -hmm. So, if the tourists back home in the United States have to be vaccinated to go into a restaurant, why should we make it any different right here? My answer to that is. It should be different here because here we depend on tourism. The U.S. doesn't depend on tourism as heavily as we do here. We keep saying we have quite a few reservations from November onwards, especially November through March. Uh, but then out of the left field, we were completely blown away when the SI came out saying that um, restaurants could only um, serve vaccinated customers. We had no idea that was coming. Um, I, I, I can't speak for local restaurants. I don't, I don't know if it is, I don't know how much it is affecting them, but that affected us right away. I don't think it was, it was well thought out um, in terms of how that would affect a tourist that wants to come to this country that is not, that has chosen not to be vaccinated um, we are not requiring vaccination to enter the country, yet we're saying when you get here, it's going to be difficult to find food. It's going to be difficult to eat. It's going to affect us. It is already affecting us. We have one resort in San Pedro that um, made the, the announcement to their future guests, and they got six reservations, I mean cancellations, in a matter of 24 hours. They got six cancellations. Um, we have these new airlines coming in in November and December. Everyone is very excited and hopeful. Um, unfortunately, some of the cities that those airlines are servicing are cities in the U.S. that um, have a high anti-vax rate. So we, we probably will be seeing some, some guests there that are not vaccinated. And we have a responsibility. The resorts have a responsibility to let them know because we can't, it's going, to be, it's going to be chaotic if we don't say anything in fear of the cancellations and then have them come and then learn about that when they're here, that, that wouldn't be right. Um, so um, we're, we're really hoping that this is going to be um, a regulation that will have an, an expiration date before we get into the thick of the, of the um, high season.